I'm at home, I'm completely ready to go. I'm waiting for my ride to come and pick me up to take me to PPM. It's a dealership in Milton Keynes. They have sorted this whole thing out. So massive thank you to them in advance. I just want to get there. I just want to go. I'm so excited. I've been holding back from sharing this from you guys for so, so long because I wanted it to be a surprise. Now it's time. We got Gabriel, a friend of mine in the background here, who's taking me to the dealer to go pick up a new car. We're going in this beautiful Alpha 4C. Now this, you're going to see later on in the video why this is kind of an appropriate car to be going in. It makes loads of sense. This is awesome, this 4C. It's white, special order paint, Gabe just told me, and it's got yellow calipers. The carbon all around is absolutely gorgeous. But anyways, I'm so excited. We need to hop into this and get on the road. I don't want to make this too long. I kind of just want to reveal the car for you guys. We've got an hour drive ahead of us, which is going to be torture on my way to the dealer but anyways let's hit the road and get there as soon as we can right we made it thank you for driving so excited this is the first time i'm ever going to see the car but we're here ppm right there and uh oh i'm actually quite nervous now all right, let's go in and, and see what's what. Now, they have some very, very, very cool cars here. And I can already see under the cover in the background the car we're here to pick up. It's all the way over there. <laughs> and you can maybe already tell by the shape under the cover, but yeah. Mm, I'm very excited. The moment is here. Everyone's arrived. I'm now going to get to see the new car for the first time ever. <laughs> the lights are on. It looks so, so sick. I've been waiting for this car for so long. I'm going to tell you the story. Once the covers come off, this is my new car, guys. I am so happy to finally be able to share this car with you guys. As you know, I've been teasing a new car for a very, very long time. I didn't really know when it was going to arrive. It, uh, you know, they kept getting delayed. I wasn't sure. Then I wasn't even sure if I was going to get the car or not. So I didn't want to announce it to you guys to then have to pull back on that. And in the end, I figured it was best just to show it when it arrived. So the guys here at PPM have actually been absolutely amazing in getting this all uh, put together and everything. They've even helped me source. Now, so in the UK, you can get private license plates. Um, and I've always kind of thought it was a very cool thing that you could do here. And I never could do it in France or in Switzerland. So I figured now that I'm here, I might as well do it. And I've ended up going for this plate right here, which is VL06 Seb, but it looks like Vlog Seb which I think is kind of funky. So that's the plate which is going on the car. Now we need to switch the plate. So at first I'm actually going to be driving it on a different plate uh, for the first like five days while the DVLA, the system here, kind of register this plate and that can go onto the car. But yes, I'm going to walk you around the car now. So there's going to be a lot of talking, but to show you all of the details behind this car. Now, obviously it's an Alpine A110 Premier Edition. Now, Premier Edition means that obviously they were the first ones to be released and they're only making 1,955 of them to commemorate the year when the original A110 came out. So they come in a bunch of different colors, but this is my personal favorite color. So it's the Alpine Blue. Now it actually really doesn't do it justice on camera because I this is the first time I see this car in real life. Now I test driven one a while back. You may remember, if you've been around for a while, I've been talking about getting one of these for a very long time. When it was released in Geneva, I'm gonna try to make it happen. If you guys know of anyone who's got a premiere edition, I tried to get one and then I was just about half an hour too late and they sold all of the premiere editions. I only really wanted the premiere edition. I'll show you why inside. I wasn't really interested in the others. So once they told me these were all sold, I was just a bit disappointed and didn't end up placing an order. And then finally, when these guys called me and helped me to be able to get this, I just figured, you know what? This is the logical next car for me. My first car here in the UK and I am so, so excited. This car has loads of design cues arching back towards the really famous, very successful rally car, the original a110 
which was absolutely gorgeous and featured these fog lights as well. So this whole light design at the front is very familiar from the old car, as well as this sort of little bulge in the middle. Um, it looks fantastic and it's really, they've done a really fantastic job at keeping the essence looks, looks wise of the original car. Now, you can then come down here and you've got this big front grille. The car's actually got pretty good ground clearance. It doesn't have a front lift. And then you've got a little air intake there, which brings you round to the tires. Now, we've got some pretty cool tires on this, Michelin Pilot Sport. Uh, and then we've got the blue Alpine covered calipers as well, which look very nice. And also, I remember from test driving this, work very well, which is positive. Um, then we go around the side. I love this, obviously. I've lived in France for most of my life, so having a French flag on the car is very cool. And round back, you then see here these lights, which actually I can switch on from the key. If you're wondering what the key looks like, there it is. And I can just press a button and the lights come on, which look fantastic. And then when you come down here, you've got the exhaust and this diffuser. A lot of people aren't too sure on the rear end. I actually love it from the rear end. It's got really clean lines, these nice big wheel arches as well which uh, look very aggressive when you're following the car. Engine wise, this is a 1.8 litre four cylinder turbo engine. It's got 252 PS and over 300 Newton meters of torque. Now, it's a fantastic little engine, um, obviously not a huge amount of power, but it only weighs about 1100 kilos. So it's a very, very light car and that's the whole sort of dynamic behind this car. Now, however, what I'm gonna do in this video is just show you around my spec, show you around everything and then the next video I'm gonna do is gonna be a first drive video because I wanted to kind of split it up into two gotcha, bitch. Uh, so that I can take some time to enjoy the car a bit as well, but then literally give you all of my impressions of driving my brand new car. Now you've seen the outside, you've seen the spec. Most premier editions already come pretty much fully specced out. So you can't choose too, too much, but this has every single option you can possibly get. So obviously the beautiful paint. And then when you go inside, this is where the car, oh, I should probably unlock it, becomes very special for me. So the unlock button is there. And then also that you've got automatic mirrors, which is quite nice. So you open this and you have these beautiful, very light doors. So everything's very, very light in this car. Um, now you can tell the paint kind of continues around the inside, which is a really, really nice touch. I might need to paint protect this actually, so it doesn't get scratched. But then you've got the French flag as well and this diamond stitching, which is a theme which gets carried out through the whole interior. You've then also got blue stitching to match the exterior around the door. And then you've got this here, which is a bit plasticky. Um, not ideal, it would be nice if it was all leather, but you do have leather around here and leather on these really nice little door handles. Then you've got this, these speakers, um, and you, as you can tell, it's brand new. Still got the plastic on the door sill, which brings you into this gorgeous interior. Now, my favorite part of this interior are these seats. Now, these are incredibly light seats, which Alpine designed specifically for this car. And you can only get them with this stitching and the, the blue and the diamond cut for the Premier Editions. So it's got Alcantara around the middle and then leather with diamond stitching on the sides. Uh, and then just all the way around on the, on the sort of outskirts right here, you've got the blue stitching to complement all of that as well, which looks absolutely fantastic. They can't move up unless you do it manually. You have to unscrew, but they do move backwards and forwards and are actually surprisingly comfortable while still holding you in really nicely. Now then, the blue is continued around the steering wheel where you got half Alcantara, half leather. So you got obviously the blue little stripe there with all of the blue stitching as well. I'm gonna hop in to show you properly. Oh yes, this is such a special feeling getting inside your brand new car. So you got the blue Alpine logo and then you can see behind here, a very, very nice digital dashboard, which is covered by a carbon fiber cover right here. Carbon fiber on the air vents as well. And then that's continued down this very nice sort of bridge which comes around uh, comes down the middle of the car and also has this satin finished carbon fiber, which is lovely. You then got your electric parking brake, cruise control buttons, engine start, your window controls, and finally this very Ferrari-esque um, gear selector. So you've got your drive neutral and reverse. This little pocket right here covered in carbon is to hold your key or your phone or something like that. As you can imagine, I've been watching a ton of videos on this car. Uh, so I'm, I'm like I'm seeing it all in real life now again. I haven't seen one of these in ages it, it just feels surreal guys. This is so 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 cool And I'm so happy that you can come along and experience this with me. We then got this screen here I'll show you in more detail afterwards if I just press the on button that should come on there you go So you have your phone connected, but this is one of my favorite features if you press the little Alpine logo there It opens up this sort of track telemetry um, system which the car has 
you can see your turbo pressure, your intake temperature. It's kind of like on the Nissan GTRs. You can just get so many different little pieces of information. You can even get a lap timer on this screen, which is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of different little menus you can go through. You've got your G-forces, your G-diagram, everything. So that's really, really cool and something which uh, wasn't in my Lotus, so you can't get in like the Alpha 4C, which we came in. And then around the side here, you don't have a glove box, actually. Um, it's just finished in plastic as well. Not ideal, a bit scratchy plastic, but the top is leather, whereas in my Lotus, that was also finished in plastic. And then, yeah, it's just a very, very nice place to be inside. The interior is what really makes it for me. You've then got this very cool dashboard, which if you press the sport button right here, changes into a slightly more sporty setting. And then I think if you press and hold that, it goes into a track mode right there, which is very, very cool. So the, your revs kind of go up like in a race car like that. Obviously, as time goes by, I'm gonna show you a lot more of the stuff and loads of detail. This is just kind of a quick overview, but there are some really cool details like the French flag in the, in the dashboard, or when you go into sport, the colors change on the buttons down here. I think it's pretty much time to have the first ever startup. I don't know what you guys think. I, Okay, you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm so excited. Here we go. Press the button here. It sounds pretty cool, guys. Now, obviously, it's not a massive V12, but for an engine like this, this sounds really nice. It's one of my best memories from test driving the car. If I press the sport button, it should open a valve as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that got a little louder. Maybe in track, does it get even louder? No, okay, it stays in the same setting. So you've got a valve which you can open and close. This is a car I've teased for a while uh, in terms of wanting to potentially own it and I never wanted to announce it until I knew it was happening for sure, which obviously now it is. I just signed the papers and everything. This is coming home with me today. So yeah, I'm so, so psyched. Different from the Lotus, different from other cars. I know you guys know about some other cars I've been considering. I'm gonna do a whole video about why I bought this car. Uh, all of the thinking that went into it, the cost on getting this, having a right-hand drive one, having it in the UK, registering it, insuring it for my age. I'm gonna do all those kinds of videos. So a lot of content to come very, very soon with this car, which I'm hugely excited about. I, I can't believe it. I'm, yeah, this is so sick. I just wanna drive the car right now. So um, I know this is a pretty sort of basic showing you around the car but that's what i wanted it to be i wanted it to be raw i want you to come on this experience with me huge thanks to these guys again ppm all the information will be down below and uh yeah i'm gonna get in and drive the car now so i'm gonna stop this video and start another one straight away so i'll see you with another video very 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 soon of my first drive of this car cheers guys bye bye <laughs>